Oh no, guys, look out, it's the intro. <laughs> Uh, I better run away. Warning. Introduction imminent. All personnel report to watching stations. RPG Unmaker Episode 3. Engage. Hey Jackass, stop showing off. No, don't wanna. Hey guys, I got a treat for you. Uh, oops, wrong treat. There we go. Alright, welcome to episode 3 of RPG Unmaker. I am RPG Unmaker, and if you couldn't tell from the overwrought overdone introduction or this title screen that I'm looking at right now we are going to be doing a game called fiery this game is brought to us by the good people and personalities over at fiery entertainment as always my commentary is completely impartial I have no vested interest in this game and I do not do any editing before or after partaking in this game, aside from the editing that I do in After Effects for the completely overwrought intro and associated accompaniments, which are done completely and solely for your entertainment. Shall we proceed then into this game called Fiery? Please keep your eyes and ears and your skull at all times, and try to refrain from making any such comments as RPG Unmaker you suck, unless I do in fact suck. The town of Fiery. An idyllic looking place, if I say so myself. I'd like to point out I haven't planned into this game at all, aside from looking at the title screen just to make sure the game would start up properly before I did it. Uh, one of the things that I take pride in, one of the things I do with these games, is to play them unseen so that the developers get an idea of exactly what someone sees in their game for the first time as they're going through it. You know, their opinions without being jaded by having gone through the game once already or something. Anyway, we apparently play an old grandma. Oh, Susan, have you seen my granddaughter Isabel? Good afternoon to you too, Jeannie. Uh, random capital letters there for no reason. No, I have not. Last I saw her was yesterday picking tulips in the field. I not like her to just disappear without letting me know first. I'd better go ask around some more. Jeannie, don't worry that old heart of yours. Fiery is a small yet very protective town. How far could she have gone? I'll help you look for her. You go ask more people if they've seen her. So apparently we really do play an old grandma. And we've got... Literally, we have emotes in the game. And the emotes are on a different background than the regular text. Ooh, who came? Marina, have you seen Isabel? And we have the same portrait from that girl from Razor Sharp Moon from the first episode. That's, uh... I don't know if that's a coincidence or if these two are, like, friends or something. Beach flirting with that cutie Sean. I can go check if you want. I don't want to bother you. Oh, trust me, it would be my pleasure. Oh, please. Alright, so Grandma is apparently... the bridge guard has randomly been killed. Okay. Is Grandma about to go kick some... ass? How could this happen in a town like Fiery and all my ears? Nothing like this has ever happened. Look, there's Isabel. Wait, who are those men? She's tied up. Uh-oh, bondage. Isabel, quick, gather arms. Don't let them get away. Other arms and legs and shoulders and heads. Chief's son, we don't have time to get him. Get to the bridge. The men might need your healing powers. Yo, sir. Alright, so I'm literally... <coughs> what the heck? This must be the bridge. Oh, no. 
Why is the background of the text just randomly changing colors for like I don't know. Yes, what the hell was that explode? What is even going on right now? You start out playing this like old whoa. I want my FPS. What the the village is burning. We're fiddling well what the heck? Okay, so this is like a, a beach with some boats and I'm bigger than the town is. This must be the world map. Who the hell are you? Mind your business and scram. Get the hell out of my way. That's not gonna happen. Then I'll have to make you. Oh, this dialogue is something else. So for our first fight, we have... Uh... Oh boy. Okay, so for our first episode, we had Shining Force style. For our second episode, we had Final Fantasy style. Now we're going into old school territory, grabbing a page out of Enix's book with old school Dragon Warrior style fights. Which is, you know, nothing is inherently wrong but, uh, with that, but, um, you know, 1987 called, they want their battle system back. Or something. I was victorious, and I found two antidotes. That must mean I will be poisoned soon. Marina, what the hell happened? Someone kidnapped Isabel, so all the men went to save her. They blew up the bridge. The chief came back to town severely injured with only a few of the men. Then it came, a full-scale attack. Dozens of, oh no, it's more bandits. Came in hiding from nowhere and started slaughtering men, women, even the children. Went to the boat, docked off the beach. Don't worry about me, I'll meet you at Fury. If you're a bandit, why would you slaughter the women? There's so much better things that you could do with women in the village. I found out what the problem is now with my computer. It's not my computer. It doesn't like this rain in these RPG Maker programs. Uh, there's really nothing I can do about it. You'll just have to bear with me. It can't be. John was the strongest guy in my grade besides me when we were kids. How long ago was that? You know, stuff happens. Still breathing, just knocked out. Okay, so apparently dude's village just got blown the hell up by some bandits or something. She's dead. She's dead, Tim. Um, look at all this lightning. Sarah, I'm so sorry. There's no rope to climb down. Well... More bandits. Do we have a skill? We have no... We have no skill. So yeah. This seems familiar. This seems very familiar. Where have I done this rondo before? I know where. Crazy funster, you! All right, so right off the bat, I can I can see there's like a problem with the pacing of the plot. I mean, first you're this grandma, and all of a sudden the freaking village gets attacked out of nowhere. And I like came from from the beach into a town. There's like these monsters will pay. Is there like treasures anywhere over here? I don't know. I look like, oh, even, where's my status menu? Look at me, I look like a, why is my mouth open? I have a long sword. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I found a bush. Where do I go? More bandits. I critical the bandit. Bandit B. Jeez, criticals do like way more damage. I am now level 3. I am now level. You want some of me? Oh my gosh, did you really say that? Bandit Veteran. Uh oh. Me in trouble. Nope, Bandit Veteran can't hit the broadside of a barn. Bandit Veteran is easier than regular bandits. And I found an Iron Helm. Can I use an Iron Helm? Yes, 
Yes, I can. Alright, so there's some, like... I guess it's nice, it starts you off in the action. It's a bit disorienting, but... You know, a little bit of story or introduction of the characters would have been nice before we just got thrown into the crapper. Uh... Dad, you're bleeding all over. Don't worry about me, son. I'm fine. No, you're not. Rain is heading the boat now and in your condition. It's best you go with her. Let me take you in the flies. You know, get it. We need to get the legendary the legendary great sword out of here. Well, that was out of left field. Just go. I'll grab it myself. The bandit leader is blocking the way. Make sure to heal up before you go after it. I'll see you when this is over. Dad just left me to die. Make sure I heal up. Motions only heal 100 HP and I have 700. Let's go, bandit leader. Nope. Wait, that's not the bandit leader. That's a regular freaking bandit. And I'm only taking one damage now. Uh. Oh my goodness. All I can do is sit here and mash the Z button to attack again and again and there's something else to do. I learned five, but I learned fire. Wait, I'm a mage too? Dude, I'm like a total badass. Wow, fire costs 50 MP. Never mind, I'm not a total badass. So, boy, let's see what you can do with that big sword you got there. <laughs> I took over this village like it was nothing. I thought it was going to be much harder. This job is worth a lot of cash. I can't have you stop us. Oh boy. Oh look, bandits. Well, let's go for the leader first since you other three can't really do anything. And the leader does 39 damage. Oh, we've got some sort of a old Nintendo style rock song here. I burn you with fire. <laughs> fire. Yeah. <laughs> fire. Of which I can't use again. Stop living! Oh my gosh. Look at me, I can just spam regular attack again and again. All these other three do absolutely nothing. Is this going to be another game that's way too easy? No, I can't say that yet, it's only the first boss. But all I do is attack. And what's with this background? It looks like I'm in like the freaking nether dimension or something. It's like a, the black hole and vortex is sucking me in with the bandits. That's like... I don't even know what the... It reminds me of... Uh, Oh, uh, what's that called? Earthbound. Two potions, two antidotes, and a level six. Howdy doody, Buster. Sean goes to... Sean goes to the capital G to grab with the capital G. The great sword, two words, the capital G and a capital S, is only one word when all of a sudden... <laughs> 